Hello mindful foodies, Inga from Health Origins here. So today, another zero waste episode, I'm gonna be um, showing you what you can do with your potato peels. So we're gonna be addressing some um, myths of, you know, of what um, flies around the internet, what you could use potato peels for, and also real uses for potato peels. So let's begin. So yeah, so uh, my favorite way from, from all of the ways I've tried so far to use potato peels is to make potato peel crisps. And I'll link down below and above um, into my recipe that I've put on the channel already how you can make it. All you basically need is some potato peels from about maybe six or eight um, medium potatoes. Then you need um, a tablespoon of some kind of acid medium so like either vinegar or lemon juice or um yeah apple cider vinegar perhaps as well or lime juice so yeah or even olive brine like i've used in my video so a tablespoon of that to wet the skins and then the spices you like so um i suggest whatever mix i've used but you could use um any of your own what you like and basically you put it all together and, and let the spices sit on the potato skins for about 15 minutes and then you bake it so yeah so go to to my recipe and have a look how you make this the second favorite use i've got is to make potato peel water simply just boil them um, so i'm gonna kind of do a double so i'm boiling potatoes underneath but also i'm steaming the actual potatoes on top here as well in my steamer so um while the potatoes steam, obviously the potato peels will cook at the bottom there as well. And it'll also collect that extra starch from these potatoes as well. It'll not go to waste. And I'll show you how we can use this potato water um, afterwards. So my potatoes um, have, you know, finished steaming and um, it's been cooling down a little bit. So now um, I need to drain this liquid. So I've got my glass jar here and I'll use a little sieve um, and I'm going to just sieve out the potato water here. So this, the peels, the boiled peels, I'll put into my compost here. So I'll, I'll compost them. But now the resulting water um, potato water I'm just gonna keep in the fridge until I use it either for soups stews um, um, or if you don't use it within like say you know a few days two three days then you could freeze it as well and use it later on and that can then be used to um, either uh, food purposes so you could you know add it to stews soups um, anywhere or even for baking um, actually um, watch out I'm gonna be uh, making my um, potato water scones on this channel shortly as well so I'll link um, to that once I've, I've released that video as well so yeah so you could add it to baking as you would some normal water so it's still, instead of normal water you could just add potato water because it kind of encourages rice so that's quite good for baking. So yeah, so you know, use either for recipes instead of water or stock you would use, um, or you could also use it as potato feed, as a potato fertilizer. Um, so you could dilute it uh, one part of this to five parts of water um, and water your plants, but make sure if you're using it for plants that your potatoes were not salted. So you can't really use salted water to, um, you know, to, to water your plants. And in fact, you could also make it into a spray to spray onto foliage. Um, you know, just put it in a squirty bottle and then spray um, your leaves as well. Because uh, the plants can get nutrition that way too. If you have a scalding hot potato water or potato peel water in this case, um, that it, you know, has some salt in it, you can, um, you know, uh, pour that water onto your weeds, so your pathways or anywhere where you want to get rid of weeds. And that really actually works as a weed killer. So like hot, scalding hot water with salt, um, that really works well. So another um, use 
that you could use it for um, is to uh, eliminate dark circles um, under your eyes. Okay, so um, so you basically just take a peel, um, freshly peeled, and just put it on to your um, kind of dark circle under the eye, and then you would just leave that for about uh, 15 minutes. Let the juice do its its magic because the potato um, acid potato juice has like whitening effect. Um, another use as well, and um, if you have some uh, persistent spots, for example, I have some on my chin sometimes. Um, so then um, you could just uh, pop your um, potato peel on that, um, or just even could rub it with the with the juice a little bit, leave it again for 15 minutes or so, and then wash it off. And that also helps to um, heal and dry those um, spots and acne. Another really um, handy way to use potato peels in the kitchen is to actually remove the stains from your hands. So you know how sometimes you get stains on your hands from uh, either beetroot or berries, for example, um, or even turmeric sometimes if, if you um, handling uh, raw turmeric. Um, yeah, so if you have stained fingers, um, you know, potato um, skin, so just rubbing potato skin onto your, um, you know, um, onto your skin that's discolored, you know, rub it um, a little bit, maybe leave it for, you know, just a moment or so, um, and then rinse it off. So that's like similar to lemon juice. It helps to, um, you know, remove the um, coloration from your, um, from your hands. Another surprising but very useful way to use a potato peel. So if you burn yourself, so say, you know, you touch a hot pot or hot oven, which I do so often, um, you know, as long as the burn is not peeling, it's not like massive, massive burn, but it's just like a slight little burn where, you know, you've got redness and heat. Um, so I normally run it under the hot, uh, cold water for like two minutes. But if you can't do that, if you're in a rush, for example, to go out somewhere or whatever, um, then potato peel is a great way to keep it cold um, and, you know, to, to, to reduce that pain and swelling and kind of cool it down. So you basically need to uh, put it on your burn like a plaster and also put like plaster on it so it keeps it in place. Um, and that actually helps and I've tested it um, and surprisingly it works quite well. And now I want to talk about two ways um, that actually did not work. Um, I found another two uses for um, you know potato peels. So um, the juice um, of the potato peels um, you know to help to do a couple of things. So one of them was to color grays and I did an experiment I'll show you in a second. So I have some grays if you can see here on my temples and, and a little bit at the top here. Um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try this and see if it works. So just gonna apply some of this potato um, you know pota fresh potato um, water uh, potato acid and starch on here on my um, on my grays and we'll see what happens and as you can see the potato on my hair didn't quite work you could still see the grays quite well um, throughout so yeah so I think the um, the gray darkening effect with potato water or at least the raw version i didn't try the cooked version but from looking at um looking up online people trying it it didn't seem to me that it worked anyway and the results were in that that method def definitely didn't work or at least it didn't work for me at all um, another um, interesting use which I thought might be helpful in the kitchen as well is getting rust of um, you know of any kind of metal utensils so I've tried on my um, cooling rack which gone a little bit rusty and I tried and did this experiment so I've got this um, metal rack that's gone a little bit rusty um, here 
Um, so what you can do is you could rub potato um, juice or you know over the rusty areas like like so I'm just gonna take a couple and do three of these so you put a good amount of potato juice on the rusty surface like that then I'm gonna just put some uh, bicarb soda on it as well I'm gonna um, leave this with bicarb soda to sit there for 30 minutes and um, and then we're gonna um, clean that off and see how that worked so um it's been about an hour or so that I've left the uh, potato juice with the bicarb soda on here um, so I've got like a softer one and a little bit more abrasive um, thing so I'll see what how it goes I think you you um, should really use um, a wire wool I think from what I've seen but um, we'll see how it works I need a little bit of water on this Um, so yeah, I'm not too sure actually if it worked that well, to be honest. Um, to take the rust off, I can still see the rust on here. So, so no, I, I don't think that's a good, that it worked really well, or at least not on this one anyway. And as you can see, that definitely didn't work so um, it's a no for me so I found a few ways that worked but a couple of ways that didn't work if you like this video if you found this useful or if you know any other uses for um, our humble potato peels um, let me know down below and give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you're new here welcome and subscribe for more videos and tips um, on Wednesdays and Sundays and as always, guys, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time.